Today, we're going to be talking about some third-party tools that are useful for EVE Online players. Tools that can give you a leg up and insight of the game from outside of the game. Just a quick disclaimer, there are so many third-party tools out there, so please don't get mad if I don't mention your favorite tool. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video, it helps out a lot. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, first one on the list is Eve Tycoon. So this is a pretty cool uh, tool. You can use it to browse the market. All you do is just type in uh, what you want to search for, and everything shows up. It's pretty awesome. You can search by um, a region. So say I only want to search in the Forge. You can exclude uh, Nullsec and, and Lowsec. You can search by Market Hub only, or if you off click that off, everything shows up uh, you can search by price search by player owned structures quantity jumps this tool is pretty awesome because it's basically an external market browser that allows you to see every single buy and sell order in the game without having to travel to that specific region what's also cool is there is an industry calculator so say you want to build some hammerheads you can type in all your parameters your structure your rigs uh, where you bought the materials from if you bought them from sell or buy orders that'll pop out everything you want show you your profit and your margin uh, there's also an appraisal tool which is pretty awesome so you can just type in some items here click the region you want to appraise them in and it will give you an estimation of what your items are worth as well as a margin calculator okay this margin calculator is pretty awesome so say you're a trader and say you bought something for a certain price you're gonna sell it for that price you go ahead and plug in your broker fees your tax rates and it'll populate what your potential profit and margin is all right next tool is Eve workbench uh, it's a pretty cool tool so uh, it's a ship fitting tool so let's just say I have a, uh, a Stero I need to fit. Let's type a Stero in the search bar. It gives you a bunch of a Stero fits. Pretty awesome. Uh, it gives you alpha and omega, or alpha and omega fits. Um, I really wouldn't recommend flying in a Stero if you're alpha. Just don't do it. You can't fit a covert ops cloak. Um, it's an expensive ship, so do not do it if you are alpha. Anyway, so we're going to click on that one fit here. So this is pretty cool. It gives you a full breakdown of every single module that's that's in the in the ship. It gives you uh, who uploaded it, how long ago it was uploaded, um, the price it would be if you were to buy it in Cheetah. Gives you your DPS, your CPU, power grid usage, EM resistances. This is cool. Market breakdown. Click on that. Gives you the full breakdown of every single. Um, the whole every single module that was in that ship that contributes to the cost it's pretty awesome and even better you click this push to eve button if you're logged in you have to be logged in to this website um, and give them permission to use the eve api through your account don't worry they're not going to steal anything it's just uh sharing information with eve um, anyway you click push to eve it pushes it to that account that you're logged in with. And so then you go into Eve and this fit is in your fitting options, in your saved fittings. Super quick, super easy. You don't even have to uh, pick all these items off the market or in the fitting window. It's just already saved right in there. But let's say you don't know what kind of ship you want to fly, okay? Uh, you need, say you know what type. You need, say, let's say a destroyer, okay? Um, but I don't really care what hull. Say I'm, I'm new, or the Alliance is like, just train for a, a destroyer. Well, here we go. Bunch of destroyer fits. Every single uh, empire, and different different types of destroyers. Obviously, you got your Amar destroyers. You got your Galente. Got some Kaldari. So let's just say I'm going to click on this. I'm an Alpha. This is only 20 million isk. That's not too bad. Super cool. Gives you the breakdown. Pretty awesome. Push to Eve, you're good to go. Next up is Z Killboard. Zkillboard.com. Uh, pretty awesome website. So here you can see all the kills that have happened in Eve. Uh, you can click on any single one of them. Um, see who, who it was, 
uh, the ship they're flying, the systems, the exact location, um, the time, damage, how much the ship fit cost, or what was dropped, or what was destroyed, and the total, who was involved, who did the final blow. Um, if they're on the dangerous side or the snuggly side, um, by clicking on that specific person, that's a, a corporation, you can see what this corporation has basically killed, and it's it's a live feed. So as soon as someone destroys something else, it'll pop up here. And it's a huge archive of every single kill that's happened in history. You can type in specific names. Um, so say we're going to type in that guy's name. We could just click on it, but for the sake of presentation, we're going to type it in. Okay. Okay, there she is. All right, so we got dangerous and snuggly. She's a little more dangerous than snuggly. All right, cool. And you can see her activity. So she uh, participated. She actually lost a Tengu to Red Truck, um, but she also destroyed, it looks like, a uh, Procurer, and she destroyed a Procurer from those guys. So pretty cool um, data analyzation tool. So if you're in low sec or somewhere or you don't know, someone popped in system and you're not familiar with them, uh, go ahead and just type in their name up here. You can type in names, you can type in corporations, alliances, everything. All right, so what's pretty cool is if you click on this map button right here, it'll show you a live feed of stuff that's happening across the whole universe here. All these little red dots are ships getting destroyed and so that was a a praxis okay let's see it praxis right here same exact kill so pretty cool you have a live feed right here and a live map to it's a it's a nice little heat map here all right next one up is uh dotlin maps uh so since the game map isn't ideal for data research uh, we have dotlin maps uh, this is a tool that is super useful uh, for so many people. Uh, there's so much data here. Uh, you can filter by regions. Um, you can click on uh, the region, and it will and it will show you every system in that region, as well as all the little connections that connect to each specific uh, system. It'll uh, give you a little legend here. It'll show you the refineries, factories, research offices, all that jazz. And uh, the reason I prefer this over the in-game map is because you can see all of it all at once. Um, you don't have to click on each individual system um, to see the details. So you can also search for, let's say, uh, Sovereignty, which obviously we're in the Forge, Sovereignty is gonna be Kaldari. But if you look at Nullsec, it'll be different. Um, you can go by stations, shows you how many stations are in each system. Obviously, uh, that was zero, that has four, that has 10. Uh, you can search by moons, which is cool. You can search by uh, planet types, uh, jumps, which is super useful, especially if you're exploring low sec and null sec. And even if you're going into Jita, I mean, <laughs> you definitely wanna know how much activity is going on. So yeah, Dotlin Maps is a useful tool. Uh, you can even go to Faction Warfare and see what systems have changed um, hands in the Faction Warfare, which is pretty cool if you're into that. Uh, you have alliances, um, lots of stuff. There's even a, a jump planner, navigational tool. All right, last one here is the Eve Gate Camp Check. Uh, so whether you're hauling some valuable cargo, uh, exploring through null sec, low sec, uh, this is a very valuable tool. Uh, maybe you're just jumping through some unfamiliar territory and uh, you don't really know what's going on. Or maybe you're gonna make a little hauling trip from Amar to Jita, okay? So that's, uh, I'll be traveling from Amar to Jita, okay? Let's check and see if there's any activity. So I have it set to shortest. Ooh, perfect. All right, so shows you each individual jump. It shows you the system security. Uh, the total number of kills that have happened in the last hour, so <laughs> a bazin, don't want to go through there. It also shows you some more info. So it shows that they're using smart bombs, okay? And there's 18 kills on the gate, on the Shira gate. 
definitely a no-go. Do not want to go any farther than Shira. So I just dock up and wait until that calms down. Um, little recommendation, I would go around downtime. So when they want to reboot the servers every day, I would go and uh, about 20, 15 minutes before you do it, jump from Shira to Habazin to uh, Hikoda and you'd probably be okay. But definitely use Eve Gate Camp, Eve Gate Check before you do that. Uh, some other cool things is um, you can click on Z Kill Board and it'll show you the kills. There's a link to Z Kill Board right there. So it shows you all the kills that are happening in real time. Same with Dotlin. It'll show you more data. Some of it's the same data, but just uh, presented differently. So yeah, super useful tool. Um, if you wanted to go this more secure route, you can just hit secure, check. Okay, look, even the secure route has someone in Bagodan taking people out at the Hama Gate. Not surprising. Um, so yeah, Eve Gate Camp Check is just a really nice, useful tool. I would use it every single time you're hauling something valuable. Even if you're exploring and just trying to get back to a hub like Amar or Jita, um, and you're going to be going through some risky space. I mean, look at this. This is a sector point or 0 0.7. Um, you know, theoretically it's safe, but just goes to show you in EVE, you're never safe. So um, definitely use this to your advantage. Super great tool. Uh, keep in mind, these are only a few sites that you can use with EVE Online. I also have only highlighted some of the features of each tool. Uh, some of these third-party sites have many other useful tools you can use to your advantage. Using all these tools together can most definitely give you a upper hand in EVE Online, but remember, only fly what you can afford to lose, and know that you are never safe in EVE. Until next time, fly safe.